tremors continue in parts of Puerto Rico, where 69 News and volunteers from Berks County are now on the ground. The volunteers are helping people who lost their homes during recent strong earthquakes. And we are documenting the volunteer efforts for a series of stories you'll see right here next week. WFMZ's Jim Vassell joins us live from Puerto Rico with an update on the efforts there today. Jim? Rob, tonight in Guayania, people are still suffering from the earthquakes that happened more than three weeks ago. And the images and the faces that we saw today were just so heartbreaking. Some people are living out of their cars and others are living out of tents. This is an area that the local government has not been able to help very much. So that's why the Reading volunteers chose this area specifically to come and give out those care packages. Now, before I talk about them a little more, I want to show you something here. This is something we saw uh, right as we arrived in Guayania. This is a house that is crushed and decimated by the earthquakes. Just surreal. You can see the garage doors crumpled underneath all of that rubble. Now, moments after that, the volunteers went right to work handing out the care packages they assembled back in Reading. Those volunteers are from the Hispanic Center of Reading, the Reading Doubletree, the Reading School District, Palo Magazine, and Rumba Reading. Now, the earthquake victims seemed very grateful. They really don't have much of anything right now. The children especially, you can tell that they were just so grateful. It was really overwhelming to witness all of this, and understandably, some of the volunteers were moved to tears. Lots of emotions. Um, just seeing the elderly, the children, people in general that have worked so hard to buy homes and make a life here, and to see the devastation of homes and people living in these conditions is just... A lot of emotions. Now on top of all of this, Rob and Wendy, the earthquakes are still happening here in Puerto Rico. As a matter of fact, we felt one earlier today as we were visiting one of those campsites with the volunteers. You could feel the ground shake pretty hard. It was def it was brief and everyone was okay. I want to make that clear. Everyone was fine, but you could definitely feel it. And to feel that firsthand in the first person is extremely eye-opening. One of the residents actually told me they feel these tremors uh, about every two hours. So Rob, Wendy, Nobody really knows when all of this will come to an end. I'm reporting live tonight in Guayania, Puerto Rico. Jim Vassell, 69 News. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Jim. And Jim will have another live report for us tomorrow at 530 and then special reports on the Berks edition all next week. And our coverage of the local volunteers and aid efforts in Puerto Rico continues online. We posted all of our reports and a slideshow at WFMZ.com.